Hey everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Veil. I'm Jessica and on today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different, something I've never done before but I've seen other YouTubers do. This is a shop with me in TJ Maxx. I'm going to take you around my TJ Maxx and show you all of the wonderful beauty finds that I was able to come across on today's video. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you like this type of video, hit that little like button down below. And if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get into my shop with me around TJ Maxx. All right, everybody, here is the first item I picked up. It is $9.99. It's a Pixie and Dulce candy. Dulce candy, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but found this in my store. Next item is the Shanexo Remix palette from BH Cosmetics. Found it for $6.99. Next item is also a BH Cosmetics item. It's the Mary Corn by Marion Magnificent. And I did open this one up to show you. It's a really cute inside. It's got a little tiny unicorn. I thought it was adorable. I did not purchase this, but it is super adorable. Next item, we've got the BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray palette. Um, it does have two sides as well. I'm going to open it up here. There we go. It's got a face palette side, so it's got some nice little shades there. And then it does also have a whole lot of eyeshadows right here. So very interesting palette. Um, I didn't see this before, but again, I don't shop uh, BH Cosmetics too often. So and that one was $6.99. Next item is also from BH Cosmetics. It's the Royal Affair palette for $7.99. And next is the ABH Subculture Palette. I've been seeing this in my TJ Maxx for a while. It's currently $19.99. I've seen them come and go on sale. Next is the Aurora Glow Kit for $19.99. I do, did pick this up at TJ Maxx myself. Next item here is from MAC. It is the 15 Shadow um, Morm Neutral Palette for $29.99. I'm pretty sure it's MAC. I don't know. We'll see. You, I couldn't open it. This next item is from Fashion Fanatic. It is one of the MAC palettes, $19.99 as well. I know these were on sale. Um, this next couple are all from Models Own. I've got the Barely There palette and the Vintage Rose palette. These are all $4.99. And then finally, the third palette I found was Super Natural. Again, all $4.99. I'm not sure Models Own, is it even still around or did they discontinue? Not sure about that. Next is the Icon palette. This is $6.99. It's the Wild, Wildfire. It's um, from Absolute New York, I believe is the brand. Um, I do see this often in TJ Maxx. And I have gotten like little minis of this brand in beauty boxes before. Next up is Too Faced. They had a couple of different Too Faced palettes. This one is $24.99. I think this one was the Semi-Sweet Chocolate palette. Yes, it is. Next up is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette, also for $24.99. These sometimes I've seen on sale even cheaper in a TJ Maxx, but I've seen them in there for several months now. Next up is the Shade and Light Cream Contour palette from uh, Kat Von D. It's priced at $24.99 at TJ Maxx as well. This is the Shade and Light Eye Palette, the original for $24.99. I did pick this up a while ago, but not at TJ Maxx. This next item here is from Sleek Makeup. This was one of the Christmas holiday kits, I believe, for $5.99. It was originally $15. It's a cute little kit. Next is a little mini Bare Minerals palette for $9.99. It's the Gen New to Copper palette, followed by this Revolution Highlighter for $3.99. Lots of good stuff. I, they had a lot of different sh uh, shingle shades from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They were all at, for $3.99 for individual shades. And then they had these e.l.f. palettes as well for $4.99. Moving on to some brushes. This whole Aurora Lights kit from BH Cosmetics was $12.99. And they had a lot of brushes, actually. Um, you can see here they've got all sorts of different ones. Those are some Japanese brushes. They've got uh, just in general, a whole lot of different brushes. I thought this was neat. It's the Let It Glow, Glow Kit from Paris Hilton. And I do show the price here in just a second. This was $12.99. I thought that was kind of neat. The only place I've ever seen Paris Hilton products is in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So this is a Japanese brush for $4.99. This was the Buff and Blend brush. They had all sorts of different Japanese brushes actually. Um, this is an eye brush precision. Oh no, it's pre precision baking, excuse me, for $3.99. It was a face brush. This next one is the Oliver eyeshadow. I think this one was $3.99 as well. Yes, it was. 
and they just had a bunch of them. I didn't go ahead and pull all of them out. I did see a couple of Smashbox brushes for $9.99. I think these were blush brushes. Did not pick those up, but I was very tempted. And then these were from Isaac Mizrahi. I've never seen anything from that brand in TJ Maxx before, and that was only $3.99. I thought that was a great price. This next one is the NYX Beauty School Dropout Eyeshadow Kit, or I'm sorry, Eye Brush Kit, and they had it for $19.99. I thought that was kind of nice. And they also had two Marc Jacobs brushes. Both were $9.99 as well. Um, one was a face brush, a, a paddle uh the first one was the paddle brush, and then the one in the back was an eye brush. And then, oh my golly, do you see how many ABH lipsticks they had? Like, my store was packed with ABH lipsticks, and those are the blush trios. I mean, they just had oodles upon oodles of these things. Um, that was the Bare, Skins, um, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. Of course, I didn't have it in my shade. I would love to pick that up. And then here's just a bunch of other lip products. They had some Urban Decay. This next item here is from Laura Geller. It's a brow sculpt sculpting kit for $5.99. I thought that was kind of intriguing. And then I've come up to a couple of Urban Decay uh, highlighters, one in Aura, and then the second one is in Sin. They were $9.99, which is a good price for that. They also had some Naked Skin liquid highlighters for $7.99. They had Sin, and then I'm also going to show you they had Aurora as well. And they had some of this Too Faced um, Melt Off, and then some more Smashbox foundations. I do have a foundation review on this exact product. They had it for $14.99. Some more lipsticks. Uh, that's a brow product from Absolute New York. That is one of that's the Aurora Naked Skin uh, liquid highlighter right there. So uh, yeah, it wouldn't focus. Anyway, moving on, they had some Too Faced Melted Latex lipsticks for only $3.99. They were a smaller size; they weren't a full size. And then this four-piece Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lipstick kit for $14.99. And then uh, they did have a Buxom Big Tease Mascara. This was only a sample size as well for $3.99, but that is a great price. Here's a little kit from Lipstick Queen. It was a three-piece kit. And this, I believe, was $19.99 right there. Yes, it is. Um, I was curious about that. I don't have, I don't think I have any fashion, or, um, Lipstick Queen products, but that's okay. They have a couple things here from Urban Decay. These are a brow box. I've never seen these before, regardless of anywhere. Like, I've never seen them at TJ Maxx. I've never seen them at other stores as well. And they only had a couple of shades, um, but that was kind of neat. Moving on, they had a whole lot of these products from Caviar, anti-aging hair products. Um... I, this is sold in Sephora. It's, it's actually really pricey in Sephora, but I was really intrigued by a couple of these things um, and the prices that came along with them. They were very reasonably priced. They have a whole long shelf in my TJ Maxx with all different types of hair products to check out. Um, I actually found this this tanner, this self-tanner from St. Tropez for $14.99. Then I'm going to move on to the skincare. I found a couple of items here from First Aid Beauty that were $9.99. Moving on, there's this Bosha item. It's Charcoal Makeup Melter, and that one was $9.99 as well. And I found a lot of stuff here. This Evian Face Spray. I actually purchased one of these. This is $9.99. I purchased it a little while ago. I'm surprised I still had these in store, but that was $9.99. Uh, they retail for a lot more. Here is an Erno Laszlo item. It's exfoliate and I forget what that, I didn't see what that said. $9.99. Here's a Kate Somerville product for $19.99 Wrinkle Warrior. And here's another Enzo Aslo product for $7.99. Interesting. They had a cleansing bar and they had a whole bunch of Strivectin products in my TJ Maxx this time around. They had this Strivectin SD. I couldn't get it off the shelf. But uh, this one was $19.99. And then they had this item over here, which is Strivectin SD for $16.99. That was an eye concentrate. Then there's this one here. It's an uh, advanced night retinol for $19.99. They also had this Strivectin TL for $19.99, tightening a face serum. They had a couple of Dr. Brandt items. This first one was $17.99, and that was a face cream. And then they had the vacuum cleaner product, which was $11.99. 
found this alginous item for $9.99. I was really impressed by that. It was a cleanser. Then they had a whole shelf of Elizabeth Arden products and then a lot of Shiseido products. I was really, really impressed with how many Shiseido products they had. Um, I never tried any skincare from Shiseido. I'm not going to read off the prices of every one of these. If you want to see the prices uh, that my Huda Max had, go ahead and hit pause and you can check that out. But I was actually really impressed with how many Shiseido items that they had in stock at my TJ Maxx, to be honest with you. There's a cleansing cream. And then they had another item back here. That one is from Cadbury London. Cadbury and something London. I couldn't catch that for $4.99. I'm not sure. I'd never seen that brand before. And then there's this other one back here from Shiseido. And the price on that one was $19.99. And I think there's a couple more Shiseido products. That one right there is $39.99. And still more, Wrinkle Resist 24. Um, Shiseido is actually a much higher end brand. They, their prices are significantly higher than this when you're shopping in like Sephora for these products. <laughs> this one surprised me. They had a box of blotting sheets, 100 blotting sheets for $10. I thought that was kind of cute. More Shiseido products as well. This one was a little bit pricier, $59.99. I didn't see anything like super, super high uh, priced in here. I think $59 or maybe $79. Is this one $79? Uh, $44.99, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, this one was the expensive one, this revitalizing cream. This one was $79.99. I thought there was at least one item that was that high. So I do appreciate them putting those little spider clasps around these so that they don't get broken into and uh, used. Anyway, they had a whole shelf of face oils, which I thought was kind of cool. All different scents, all different products. You'd have to check those out. And then they had this humongous thing of makeup wipes which i was really impressed with i've actually bought makeup wipes from tj maxx and marshall before and i'm very happy with the ones i picked out this next item here was on clearance it was 18 dollars. it was home x body shaping massager i just thought that was kind of neat this last item here is from bite beauty it's a two-piece lip crayon and that is three dollars for two lipsticks and i thought that was a great price i did not pick it up anyway i do hope you enjoyed this shop with me at tj maxx if you did, again, please give me a thumbs up down below. I just figured I'd try something new on my video this week. And leave me any comments in the comment section down below. What do you think of this style of video? And would you like me to make more of them? I would be happy to do so. Anyway, I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.